Um, hello, in this video we will write code by using the uh, loops. Um, so in, let's say uh, we want to read some numbers from the user and we want to display if the number is uh, even number or odd number. So uh, let's get read the uh, integers from the user and I say int and let's say a. So here um, let's ask the user um, ok so system out print um, so let's say number so we read the number from user and we assign it to a uh, we say kb dot because we will read integer next int Okay. After we read that, uh, I will say if. So before putting everything in a loop, it is better to write one code, one iteration, and test it. And if it works, then put that in the loop. So right now, let's not write any uh, loop and let's write just the if else condition. So if. So how do we check if a number is even number? So if you divide the number by 2, if remainder is 0, that means it is an even number. So we say a, uh, modular operation operator, which is percent sign, 2. So this returns uh, the remainder by 2, uh, if you divide by 2. If this is 0, then it means a is an even number. So here I can just say system out um, print line so let's say a okay is a okay if, um, okay is a even number okay uh, otherwise else let me just copy and paste so else that means it is a odd number okay it's an odd number um, okay so let me um, run it okay number uh, 20 okay 20 is an even number okay it worked so le let me run it again. Number um, 23. Okay, 23 is an odd number. Okay, so far it works. Now uh, we want to put this, we want to repeat this operation. And we, you need to figure out which part is repeated. We declare A here. This is not repeated. This should be declared only once. And we want to ask the user number okay this part is repeated and as you see all of this is repeated so let's put this uh, in a loop um, I can say while loop okay but before doing this how do we stop what, what would be the stopping condition uh, let's say if the user types um, a special number let's say user types uh, minus one okay and if user types minus one then we want to uh, exit. So here <coughs> we can say do and then um, okay so here I can say do okay so let's let me take all of these and press tab key to indent all of them and then here I say while <coughs> um, okay, while true, then keep going. But here, just after uh, getting this and before displaying anything, we will check if the number is if a is. Uh, minus one, then break. Okay. Otherwise, 
just keep continue um, so if I run this okay number is 20 okay e even number now number let me type minus 1 okay okay it is done so we go outside um, so now there is another way uh, to do this um, you could have what um, uh, outside of the loop so you might ask the user okay so I mean you can do this you can say while um, a is not okay uh, a is not one or not one I am sorry minus one that means keep going but we haven't assigned anything to a yet we declared it so a must have a value so that means I can cut and paste from here I can put this here okay number and then I read the a and I check is it uh, minus one so in this case there is no need to check the condition here because I am checking the condition in the while loop so if it is not minus one that means okay I can check if it is odd number or even number uh, so after this <coughs> I need to update a otherwise this will be infinite loop so here uh, I can copy and paste again so I can copy and paste this part here and of course this should be deleted because this not do while anymore this is while loop so here let me just run the program okay number 20 okay it worked now numbers if I say minus 1 okay it is done so uh, it is terminated and I can just put a message here system out print line okay goodbye okay so now let's test an odd number number um, 3 okay 3 is an odd number number minus 1 okay goodbye okay so I hope this is uh, clear to everybody um, so see you at the next video